Barber to me is home. It's um, it's a community that I've grown up in and with a lot of ties to the ocean, um, particularly fishing and surfing. I love being here. The experiences that are the most miserable, the times where you're wet and you're cold and you're tired and you've been up for days and you just are pushed to the brink of your sanity. Those are the moments that you look back on and you're the most proud of and they make the best stories. Fishing in my family goes back, I guess you just say one generation. My dad um, was the first of my family to get into commercial fishing. The more that I do and the older that I get, I realize that I have these experiences with my dad that a lot of other kids don't get to experience with their parents. And um, I'm really grateful for that. Most of the time I'm learning all of these things that he's learned over 40 plus years of fishing and to be able to soak up that knowledge and and experience the raw power and beauty of the ocean and nature is uh, incredible and being able to do it with your dad is just something else. You take your destiny in your own hands. The harder you work and the more energy you put into it, you may not to make a ton of money, but you're going to make some money and you can't get fired from your own boat. And I had these realizations come to me on the back of a fishing boat. And that's when I decided that, you know what, I'm going to structure my life so that my job supports my passions. I don't really remember when I caught my first wave, to be honest. I just remember we would go to the beach a lot. As I got older, um, I progressed at surfing and uh, I began surfing Mavericks and living in Northern California and applying all of the techniques to surfing big waves. It allowed me to get, well, good at it. Within a 40 minute drive of Ghirardelli Square in San Francisco, you can basically pull up to a dirt parking lot, get out of your car, put your wetsuit on, grab your board, walk down the trail, hop in the water, and paddle into some of the biggest, best waves in the world. And it's a trip. Take your time, I'm standing straight. I was introduced to Surfing Mavericks by a friend of mine named Haley Fisk who was stand-up paddle surfing out there. So learning to surf out there, being in Dr. Jane in that lineup was intimidating, um, but the hook was set deep. I, got, I remember getting my first rear wave out there and I kicked down the feeling of speed and power and it was just, it's like nothing else. All of the things that creates that wave to align, and by that I mean it's got the right bottom contour to produce huge waves, and it's in the North Pacific, so it gets a lot of swell, and it's in a location that's easily accessible. It's one in a million, and uh, that's one of the reasons I love it. It's right there, looking at you in the face. Yeah. 